Hello balloon artists. You've been asking me how to make water weights. So today I'm going to show you how to make a water weight to use with your balloon displays. I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks in Derbyshire in the UK. Let's get started straight away. Today I'm going to be making water weights using 11 inch round balloons. But the size of weight you need will depend on the display you're making. So you can make small water weights using um, five inch rounds, you can use the 11 inch, you can make larger ones using the 16 inch uh, rounds. But today we're using 11 inch and you're going to need a chopstick and put one 11 inch on the end of your chopstick and then put the other one over the top and we're just going to double skin this water weight. So, okay, to reduce the chance of the water leaking out. Okay, and then you're going to need a bottle of water. This is just ordinary tap water. So take the necks of the balloons and stretch them over the top of that water bottle. Okay. And when they're securely in position, just turn it upside down and squirt the water into your balloon. Okay. And then when it's the size you want, just remove the neck from the bottle. Okay. Don't let go. <laughs> Put a twist in here and hold on to the neck of your balloon, give a twist, and that inner balloon you want to tie in a knot, okay? So just tie that in a knot and pull. So it's really important you don't let go because the water in there is under pressure. So if you let go, it will squirt out, okay? So that's it, a really easy way to make water weights. And you can do that anywhere. All you need is your bottle of water. You don't even need to go to the tap or the faucet, as I know that you say in other countries. Um, so you just need a bottle of water. It couldn't be easier. But the trick really is don't let go <laughs> once you put the water in, because otherwise you will get drenched. So that's my top tip this week. Hope it's been helpful. What else would you like to uh, learn how to do? Um, I've got all sorts of um, tips that I can share with you. Uh, it'd be really useful to know what else you want to learn. So leave me a comment in the comment section. Hit like if you've enjoyed the video and do remember to subscribe and activate the notification bell so you're not going to miss any of my other videos and I'll see you again soon.